So let's create our first HTML file. So open up Komodo Edit and navigate to the HTML directory we created earlier. Right click on it and select New File. Here we'll be prompted to enter in the new file name. I'm going to call this structure.html. Notice that most HTML files actually require the .html file extension. So now we can double click on structure.html to open it inside our text editor. Now to start working with HTML, we have something called the HTML document structure. So we start this off with the doc type. The doc type for HTML5 is just doc type HTML. Also notice the exclamation mark at the start of the syntax. The document type for earlier versions of HTML, including HTML 4.01 and XHTML, required quite a large document type. It was actually kind of confusing for new developers. In HTML5, the document type is actually just HTML, doc type HTML. This is part of the beauty of HTML5 and its simplicity. So now we go ahead and create our opening and closing HTML tags. This will contain our head section and body section of our HTML. Then we create our head and inside the head we put a title. This will be the title of our web page. This doesn't have to be the same as the actual HTML file name. But I'm going to go ahead and stick with the naming convention we have and call it structure. Then we have our body. Inside the body is where we put content that we would actually want rendered in the browser. In the head, we put things such as internal and external scripts and style sheets, meta tags, and the title. As you've noticed, when I've typed this out, Komodo Edit has actually indented certain elements. This is a part of good coding practice. It allows us to easily navigate our HTML and read it efficiently. So as you'll notice, this head section is inside our HTML, so therefore we have indented the head section one tab space. And as the title is inside the head section, we've indented that one additional tab space. So when we start to add content in our body, we'll actually start one tab space in. This is a part of good coding practice and will help you become efficient with writing HTML. So now that we have our HTML5 document structure, let's take a look at it in the browser. So go ahead and save this. Click on the little arrow on this preview button. And from the drop down menu, select Google Chrome to open it up in our Google Chrome browser and select Preview. This is our HTML5 document structure loaded up in the web browser. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing on this page. It's a blank canvas. So let's take a look at outputting some text to the browser. Just type in Hello World. Go ahead and save this again and open it up in our browser once again. As you can see, we have the Hello World text output to the browser. I hope you've learned a little bit about the HTML5 document structure and how to actually output text to the browser.